This video is all about the BS. And by BS, I mean boutique silver, AKA high premium silver. Why you should avoid it, how it's hurting your stack, and my suggestion for those with high premium precious metals, as well as the four rules of stacking. If all of this is of interest, then this video is for you. I'm often asked, have I always been anti-high premium silver? I usually laugh and say, I'm not totally anti BS or high premium silver. It just doesn't quite fit into my investment philosophy as a stacker. Because I have clear goals, it becomes really hard to purchase some of the boutique silver out there with premiums reaching 60 to 70%. Don't get me wrong, I do have some in my stack as you can see. In fact, all of it is actually right here. At 40 to 70% premium, silver has to appreciate by that amount just for you to break even. And as an investor, that just doesn't make any sense. As I shown in my previous video, undeniable proof stacking bars are better than coins, aka I like big bars and I cannot lie. Shout out to Sir Mix a lot. Someone go ahead and take this video and share it and make sure he gets to see it. Okay, back to the point. One, your money is made when you buy. Stacking is a game of ounces and how many ounces you can accumulate. Three, you don't get back what you pay in premium when you sell. And four, you buy the cheapest recognized product, AKA generics, and invest the money savings from not buying BS or high premium silver to get more ounces. As it relates to rule number four, I just learned a really important lesson about BS or boutique silver a few years ago from one of my coin shops. And let's call the dealer, let's call him Rick. Over the years, Rick and I had really developed a nice relationship and he's kind of taken a liking to me. He's taught me a lot about precious metals, but one lesson in particular truly stands out. And I'll never forget the day. Rick is kind of a grumpy old dude, super nice, but he definitely says things very clearly if you know what I mean. And Rick knows that I'm super cheap, I mean uh, frugal, so one day I was feeling a little free with my money and I was looking at some beautiful but pricey round and Rick walked in and he saw me drooling over this particular coin and he instantly yelled at me, why are you looking at that BS? And he didn't use the abbreviation. Almost interrogating me, he said, well, why do you buy silver and gold? I answered and then he shouted, are you a stacker or not? I'm a stacker, I said, laughing nervously. He then said, well, why would you waste your money on that shiny BS? Again, he used the real word. You can only imagine how shocked I was. And then that is when he gave me one of the most important pieces of advice when it comes to silver and gold, which is what I've already shared with you. He said, I've been a dealer for 30 years. And do you think I have any of that BS in my stack? He shared that he calls the high premium silver boutique silver because like boutiques, it's all about making people feel special or more sophisticated for buying overpriced crap. Of course, he didn't use the word crap. He said, silver is silver. I don't care if it's covered in mud, blood, or milk spot. It's all the same in the end. He then said, if you're dumb enough to buy it, I'm smart enough to sell it to you as he walked away. <laughs> Clearly, I didn't buy it. That lesson I learned is even more critical today as we've seen premiums shoot through the roof and not only on the high premium stuff, but across the board and even including junk silver. Now that you know why I don't buy much BS, I mean boutique silver or high premium silver, let's talk about what I would do today if I had a large collection of BS. Heck, I would even consider doing this if I had a bunch of American Silver Eagles. As you can see, I currently only have about 28 ounces or so. So what would I do? I'd sell as much of it faster than I'm about to piss off a bunch of people watching this video. I'd do the math, project what spot value I would need in order to break even. Let's take a look at the scenario on the screen. I did a simple search, JM Bullion, and I looked at a particular high price item, the, the beautiful British Queen's Beast collection. And as you can see with that little reddish line there, silver was at $24.99. Let's just call it $25. And in order to buy one of those beautiful two ounce Queen's Beast, it's $86.90. But if you look down at the bottom there in the red, 
they have a sell to us price. They're going to sell it. They'll let you sell it back to them for $55. Here I put a little spreadsheet together to drive home my point. Two ounce Queen Beast coins that I purchased for $86.90. We're going to call it $87. And by the way, that's a 68% premium. Silver would have to go up 68% for you to essentially break even. And so I have option one grayed out and that's the $55 that JM Bullen would gladly give you for you to sell those back to them. And if you did that, you'd have a loss of $320. But if you keep going to the right, I created a scenario of let's say we're gonna be able to go and sell that person to person, private sale, and you would sell all 10 of those, you would get $80 per coin. So you would get back $800 and you would only have lost $70. And I'm going to tell you that would be a great decision. And here's why. If you drop down to A7, you can see that I would trade my 20 ounces of Queen's Beast to buy 28 ounces of generics. And that on the Jam Bullion site, I could get JBR Silver Rounds for $29.12, which is a 16% premium. My total cost would be $815. So I would take that $800 from selling those Queen's Beast, add 15 bucks for it, and get me 28 ounces of generic rounds. And let's say Future Spot went up from $25. It was $24.99 on the site. So we're going to call it $25, $55. And we're going to say that you're going to get an extra 15 cents because that's what Jay and Bullion was offering, an extra 15 cents over spot if you sold it to them. And you would get back $1,544. And if you subtracted your original investment, which is not the 815, but the 870, because you bought the Queen's Beast originally, you would turn a profit of $674. If you did nothing and just held on to your BS silver, I mean your boutique silver, and kept those 10 two ounce Queen Beast coins, if the spot went up to $55, and let's just say you were able to sell it for $110, so spot went up $30, and instead of selling it at $80, you're selling it, selling it at $110, $30, just like the increase in spot. Your final profit is only $230. There's a $444 difference because that buying the generics gives you the ability to get more ounces and more ounces appreciating is how you store your wealth and grow your wealth in precious metals. And as you can see off to the right here in column K7 and six and seven, I did a hypothetical of, let's say silver went up to $75. Same calculation, same increase, $50 increase from 25 of today. And we're gonna let you sell it for $135. And you can see here, you would sell for $2,100 and have a $1,200 profit from making that move of going from the Queen's Beast just into generics. And that if you drop down to K11 and 12, you would see that you could sell it for $1,350 and you would only turn a $480 profit. That is exactly why I say I would sell every bit of it right now because I think there's a very small window of opportunity here where you could sell some of your high premium or BS silver, take that profit or take those dollars, put them in generics and allow the appreciation to make up that loss that you would have initially. Okay, if you found any value thus far, go ahead and hit that like button for me. It really does help. So let's be clear, I'm not talking about numismatic or collector coins in this particular example, as that is really a totally different bag. And I could take that on if you want. In fact, drop a comment below if you'd like for me to, to cover that topic. I'm not saying that you can't or you shouldn't buy any of the BS or high premium silver. As you can see, I do have some, but it absolutely only represents less than 1%. And most of it has a special meaning, like my Archangel Michael bar here. My goal is to discourage you from buying too much of this BS or high premium silver. I want you to think about BS or high premium silver like molten lava chocolate cake. It's absolutely delicious. Occasionally having some is not a big deal. You just don't wanna start having that every night. You just don't want this BS silver and gold to take over your stack because it limits your upside. One last point, if you're buying boutique silver or high premium silver because it makes you a little happier and keeps you motivated, then you can absolutely be like digital underground and do what you like. Anyone get that? You know, shock G, Humpty Hump. <sighs> All right, my dad jokes are never gonna work around here. 
Will you ever laugh at my jokes? Again, my only desire is to make sure you have all the information and are able to make an informed decision for yourself. Buy it for you. If the goal is to get out of your rapidly depreciating fiat currency in order to hold, maintain, and possibly grow your wealth, then I would submit that BS has no place in your stack or very limited at best. As you heard me say, and I will always continue to say, your money is made when you buy. The stacking game is a game of ounces and how many you can accumulate. You don't get back what you pay in premium when you sell. Buy the cheapest recognized product, likely generics, and invest the money savings from not buying high premium silver into getting more ounces. You'll be happier with your stack, and over time, you'll be happier with your wealth accumulation. With that, Head over to the comments section and share one piece of BS or boutique silver that you've purchased. As I shared earlier, I want you to check out my video, I Like Big Bars, or you can check out Why Do These Eagles Have You Spread, where I break down the difference between buying bars, generic rounds, coins, and American silver eagles in order to show you how these overpriced items are preventing your stack from growing exponentially. There will be a link to click on those videos right about now, always stack smarter and never stop learning.